What's up everybody, Matt here and welcome to this brand new video. Uh, it is absolutely great to be back. I know that it's been quite a while again since I uploaded a video, but I just want you all to know that I have returned with a really cool video. I'm going to be showing you guys seven fragrances from my collection that I really, really love. And what makes these fragrances all stand out and I suppose make them all have something in common with each other is the fact that they all feature the note of pine. Now, the note of pine is one of my favorite ingredients or notes um, in any fragrance. Uh, in case you guys didn't know that, I haven't really mentioned that actually on my channel, which is quite strange. But pine is a very natural smell. It's a, it's, it reminds you of the great outdoors. It's woody. It can be, it can be blended in so many different ways. And the fragrances that I have here to show you guys are all blended very, very nicely, and they're all very different fragrances. So I really cannot wait to show you guys what I've chosen for my list. Um, the reason why I decided to do this video is because it's getting colder here in the UK. Um, it's really, really not pleasant to, to be outside in this weather. It's just, it gets windy, it gets cold, and um, yeah, especially at nighttime, it's not pleasant. But uh, yeah, that's why I wanted to show these fragrances, because these fragrances, you know, really warm you up. I suppose. Um, they, they just really remind you of the great outdoors and if anything it's like stepping into a pine forest whenever you smell any of these fragrances. So I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna get on with the list. So guys coming in at number seven is a fragrance that came out in 1984 and this is a fragrance that I've reviewed on my channel way way back. I haven't really mentioned it again to be honest with you. This is a scent that I love to wear but I don't wear it a lot. I only wear it if I'm Say if I'm, well, I used to wear it a lot when I used to perform um, on stage. Uh, this was one of my go-to fragrances if I wanted to, you know, really smell good when I was performing. And this fragrance is, I suppose, a really strange choice. So a lot of you guys might not be expecting this, but this is a scent that doesn't get a lot of love. And I don't really know why, um, because it is a decent fragrance. I mean, it is old school, but it is fantastic. And it is... Critzia Womo. Now this is a fragrance that is so dominant on the note of pine. It's it's just very very strong when you first smell it. Opens up natural, woody, it has the note of aldehydes in there so it really gives the fragrance this bold strength but the pine really really comes through. I've always compared this fragrance to One Man Show by Bogart. Um, however this one is way stronger than one Man Show, and that really says a lot considering One Man Show is a, a definite 80s powerhouse, but uh, this one is just beautiful. This one is so good on the pine, it's very well blended. It doesn't necessarily remind me of uh, The Great Outdoors. Uh, this one has a bit of a soapy characteristic to it, it's also a little bit spicy, so this one is the type of scent that you'd, that you'd maybe wear when you're stepping out the shower. But like I said before, I used to wear this on stage, and uh, I used to get a lot of compliments when I used to wear this. Um, yeah, it's an old school fragrance, but it smells absolutely incredible. And if you guys can uh, manage to get your, your nose on this or get a bottle, you might really enjoy it. Um, I would definitely not recommend blind buying this, though. Um, I blind bought it and I loved it. But uh, I can imagine a lot of people not liking this because it is harsh and it does open a little bit strong. But the pine note in this is to die for. I would highly recommend that you guys check this one out. So that is my number seven, and it's Critzia Womo by Critzia. The next one on my list, guys, is a fragrance that is quite new in my collection. And I saw this one whilst just roaming around on bass notes and for Granica. You know, I was trying to look for a really good pine scent or a pine fragrance or a fragrance that would be great to wear for perhaps this Christmas or just for the, you know, for the colder weather in general. And I came across this fragrance by the Italian house of Pino Silvestre. And uh, this is a fragrance called Pino Silvestre Extreme. And uh, this is a fragrance that came out, I believe, in 1998. And uh, this is a modern interpretation of the 1955 release of Pino Silvestre, which is, of course, a very dominant pine fragrance. Um, I, I do actually have that fragrance, but I haven't got it with me right now. Um, the reason why I wanted to really show off this one is because this one doesn't only show off the note of pine, but it doesn't actually feature the note of pine, which is really, really, un which is really strange considering when you go on for Kranika and you see this fragrance shaped like a pine cone, 
you would think that it would have the note of pine, but this version doesn't. This is a fruit infusioned, woody version of the original Pinot Silvestre that came out in 1955. I actually prefer this to the original. This one is... It's definitely more sensual, it's warmer. It's definitely more wearable, I would say, uh, more than the original. The original is a little bit too strong on the pine, but I do love the original for, for what it is. I, I guess I wear that one for more nostalgic reasons, but this one is definitely more wearable than the original. It's It's got these like, like forest fruits in there, which really give it this characteristic of like roaming through a pine forest in the middle of fall. Like that's the kind of vibe that I get. Like with the original, I imagine stepping into a, a deep, dark pine forest where you're surrounded by pine trees and the, the pine needles are literally falling on top of you. And maybe in the winter as well. Like that's the kind of vibe that I get out with the original. With this one, this is in the fall. This one's warm. It's got those fruits that warm it up. It's really, really good, guys. I would really recommend that you guys get this one or check it out if you can. It is discontinued, but you can get this fragrance online. I have seen a few bottles of it going. So yeah, I picked this up for like really cheap. I only paid like 10 quid for this uh, on eBay. And it's, it, it is amazing. Yeah, it doesn't look like much, the atomizer or anything, but I don't care. I mean, it smells great and it's a, it's a rare scent. And you know what I'm like for my rare fragrances, so. Yeah, guys, that is my number six, and it is Pinot Extreme by Pinot Silvestre. The next one, guys, is a budget fragrance that I picked up from the US, and this is a scent that, to me, definitely evokes the note of pine, but this one, to me, is more like stepping into snowy mountains. Um, think of the Sierras. Wrong way. Stetson Sierra. Um... An amazing fragrance like this is a budget fragrance you can pick up this fragrance um, pretty much anywhere in the States that's where I got this one from I picked it up from Walmart and I think um, I can't remember how I got this one exactly I think it was a gift it's a great scent it's a really really good fragrance nice green bottle gold cap definitely shows off that sort of polo green sort of look which I, I really really do like but this is nothing like polo green guys this is a very very nice warm Dominant pine with warm woods underneath, which gives it that nice outdoors feeling. This is a very festive fragrance. Like, if, if anything, this is probably the most festive sort of pine smell out of all the pine fragrances that I have in this video. It just reminds me of Christmas. It reminds me of um, maybe staying in a cabin in December. That's the kind of vibe that I get out of this. Stonebill fireplace, you're surrounded by your family, there's nothing but love in the air. And it's snowing outside, surrounded by, again, you're just in a forest full of pine trees, but it's, it's not quite secluded. Um, there's mountains nearby, there's maybe people skiing just down the way. So it's, it's not quite a private place, this one is quite in the opening, it's quite in the open, sorry. But it's, it's really, really gorgeous. Like, this is not just pine, this is more. There is more to this. And if you guys want to check out my review, I will leave it in the description. It's, it's, it's just an amazing fragrance. I would highly recommend that you guys check out Stetson Sierra by Cody. Uh, it is actually by Cody. I would say by Stetson, but it is manufactured by Cody. So, okay, guys, coming in at number four is, again, another discontinued fragrance. This is a rare scent. Um, from the 80s, 1988, in, or 1989, I believe this came from, I can't really remember, I'll put it down here. Um, and it is the one and the only Hero Cologne by Prince Machiavelli. Now this fragrance um, is really, really fantastic. This is probably the fragrance that doesn't really evoke that much pine. It does have the note of pine, but this one intrigues me because... It's got the citruses in the opening and it has this greenness to it, but it reminds me of being in a forest that doesn't necessarily have that many pine trees. This reminds me more of... This reminds me more of maybe being in the... Uh... 
Imagine being in a forest filled with lemon trees with a few pine trees in it and you're just walking along a nature trail. That's what I get out of this fragrance. It's like I said, more of a citrusy fragrance. Uh, it also has leather in there as well, but it does have the pine. The pine is in there and it does, you know, remind you of being in the great outdoors once again. But again, this one doesn't have that much pine in it to be a 100% pine fragrance. The only reason I'm mentioning it in this video is because the pine in this fragrance is so unique. And I haven't really smelled a pine like it. It just, again, reminds me of being in the great outdoors. Maybe not during a festive time. I'm thinking more February time, March. That's what I'm thinking of. But it's beautiful. It's just a really, really, really nice fragrance. Even though it's a cologne, it lasts as well. It's it's really, really good. Um, would highly recommend it. I mean, it looks very much like Quorum as well, the aftershave formulation of Quorum, which I thought, whilst getting this fragrance, looked really, really cool. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really look like much, um, of course, but the fragrance itself is fantastic, and I would highly recommend that you guys check this one out. Now, Coming up guys, the three next fragrances that I want to show you are very, very complex pine fragrances. These ones are very dominant on the pine and I'm really excited to show you guys. So these are my final three. And coming in at number three is a fragrance that I absolutely swear by and it's the one and the only, well, I've got two bottles of this. Jaguar for men, this is the vintage version uh, because I swear by it. The new version is good, um, which is, this version right here. It is good, but um, it doesn't really last as much as this version. Uh, the vintage, I get easily about six hours out of this, which could be better considering it gives off the impression of a powerhouse scent, but uh, it's it's still not bad. The, the fragrance itself though is absolutely fantastic. So what you're gonna get when you first spray this fragrance is you're gonna get citruses, you're gonna get some artemisia in there, and you're also, you're also gonna get a, a bit of leather as well, which creates a nice warm fragrance. But what really, impresses me about this fragrance is how high quality that pine note is. It, I'm gonna spray this little 30 ml vintage, which I picked up for only 10 pounds on eBay. This is awesome. This one has a very similar pine note to Polo Green. I've mentioned Polo Green a lot in this video and you know. this is just incredible. This is a soapy pine. This is soapy pine at its best. A lot of people don't really like this original fragrance. A lot of people don't like Jaguar for men um, because it's very overpowering and it's soapy and it, it's a bit mature. But for this video, that pine, it's, it's, it's so fleeting. It's strong as hell and it's beautiful. It really does remind you of being in a pine forest. This one is just awesome. Not only does it evoke the car of Jaguar and the brand of Jaguar as well, but it just, the fact that it just reminds you of being in a pine forest in general is absolutely incredible. In fact, this one, this one is more like, it's like a, a pine infused leather. That's what I really get out of this. But it really is just an incredible fragrance that I would highly recommend that you guys check out. It's a beautiful presentation and uh, it's a great fragrance. So I'd highly recommend that you guys check out Jaguar for Men. It's it's really awesome. If you can get your hands on the vintage version, I would highly recommend it. The, the new version is okay. It just doesn't last. I get about three, two or three hours out of it, max. This I get about five or six, so it is much better. So that was my number three. And coming in at number two, guys, is again, another re really rare fragrance. Um, I didn't want to go away from the fact that I like to show you guys my rare fragrances. Um, I'm gonna try and refrain from showing you guys some rare scents because I'm aware that not everybody can get their hands on them, um, which is something that I probably should have realized a long time ago. <laughs> but um, yeah, coming in at number two is Eau Fresh by Jacques Bogart, uh, or simply known as Fresh Water. Uh, this fragrance is absolutely spectacular. Um, what you're going to get out of this is a clean pine infused with infused with mint, juniper berries, and vetiver. Absolutely fantastic fragrance. 
This is the cleanest pine fragrance I've ever came across in my life. But what makes it even more special is just that blend with the mint. I believe it's spearmint or peppermint. It's one of the two. It smells more like a spearmint to me. Uh, it really gives this fragrance that, you know, you've just stepped out the shower sort of feeling, you know, like you, it definitely evokes that. But what I love about this is that pine. It's so, so strong, so beautiful, so unique, so high quality that I would highly recommend that you guys get your nose on this fragrance. I reviewed this when I was in the States and uh, I was so happy and so lucky really to get my to get my hands on this fragrance because it is so rare. It's one of the rarest of the Bogart scents and I'm so happy to have it. Again, it's, it's really, really fantastic. I would highly recommend that you guys check this one out. Um, I'm so lucky to have it. It's, it's a fantastic fragrance. The bottle itself is just so old school. It's, it's fantastic. Built-in atomizer, eau fraiche. Very old school, eau de toilette, bog on the top. And it's just, it's brilliant. It's really, really fantastic. A pine like no other, really. It's its brilliant. So this is great if, you, if you're if you looking for a fresh pine fragrance. Um, the other fragrances on this list aren't really the fresh sort of pine. So this is one that I would highly recommend. I, again, there isn't really a scent like this out there. So trying to find an alternative for this is quite difficult to say so it would be quite difficult for me to give you guys any recommendations but it is an awesome fragrance I would highly recommend that you guys check out Eau Fresh Freshwater by Bogart that is my number two and coming in at number one guys is a fragrance that I've always wanted to review on my channel because it is the best pine fragrance and possibly one of the best wintertime fragrances that any man could wear and it's the one and the only, and please don't hate me guys because I'm aware that this isn't a vintage version and I know a lot of people don't really care for the new formulation, but it's it's good for me, it works well on my skin. It's Polo Green by Ralph Lauren. Of course I had to put this at my number one. Not only because it's Polo Green and it's probably the most expensive fragrance on this list, but because it's just so high quality and it's it's really a fantastic fragrance. This is... The definition of smoky pine. So imagine being in a pine forest, sitting around a fire, having a few drinks, there's the sound of birds, you know, whatever. There's the sound of the owls in the forest, there's wolves around, um, but you're safe and sound with all of your buddies. That's the kind of feeling that I get with Polo Green. Very festive smelling, reminds you of the Christmas time, it's that smokiness, I think, that really gives it that smell. But what I really love about Polo Green more than anything is the fact that it's just such a nostalgic fragrance for me. But, you know, it makes me feel good. Not only do you have to wear a fragrance to fit in with the times, you have to wear a fragrance that makes you feel good. And uh, Ralph Lauren's Polo Green is that. And it's just the definition of pine in a bottle. It's, it's really, really fantastic. But you might like it, you might not. It is an old school scent, so... Yeah, um, a lot of people might not like it for the smoky vibe that it gives off, but I love it. It's really, really fantastic. I would highly recommend that you guys check this out. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please let me know if you like the note of pine and let me know what your favorite pine fragrance is, most of all. Keep smelling good, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.